Hide and seek in Among Us is basically hiding and running away from the imposter. Well, so we all know who is the imposter at the start of the game, and we run away from the imposter and do our chromate tasks. While the imposter tries to kill everyone in the game before chromates finish all the tasks. So after you finish your tasks, you should hide or run before the imposter finds you. There are also some rules you should obey in a hide and seek game. Rule number one, no reporting. Reporting a body will stop the game so we don't want bodies to report it. Um, even if you find a body, don't report it. In normal Among Us games, reporting a body is just to find who the imposter is. But in hide and seek, we already know who the imposter is. The only way you can win as a crewmate is to finish all the tasks. So just ignore the bodies and do what you should do. Rule number two, no sabotaging. Sabotaging for imposters are not allowed in hide and seek. Sabotage is a bit overpowered here, because let's say you turn the lights off, everyone will go there and you get a free kill. Closing doors are not allowed it too. Well, closing doors stops the crewmates and you can easily kill them, so it's not fair for them. So don't sabotage in an Among Us game ever again. Rule number three, no emergency meetings. Well, it's the same as rule number one. It stops the game and we don't like it. People will usually get annoyed and might kick you afterwards. Rule number four, no venting. Venting is also overpowered in hide and seek games. You don't want that, uh, you know, when you don't see the imposter nearby, but suddenly the imposter hops out of the fence and kills you. This is overpowered, right? So don't fail in an Among Us hide and seek game. But except when. Rule number five Imposter fence in cafeteria. So you might be wondering how do we know who is the imposter at the start of the game? Well, imposters will fend in cafeteria at the start of the game and everyone will watch him fence. After you know who the imposter is, run and do what you should do. If you are the imposter, please do fend in the cafeteria so that we know who is the imposter. After you fend a few times and people are gone, you can start killing people. So this is the end of this video. I hope you know more about hide and seek in Among Us. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more quality videos. And there will be part 2 coming soon about my recommended game setting for hide and seek. Goodbye and thanks for watching.